management or strategic management this is swaminath dandraj from edwing education with you so this class must be an interactive session because i don't want any one way traffic classes because it's very boring i am planning to have an activity in between so don't go away okay yes so we are moving to the first slide that is i wonder it is moving or not just yeah i think it's moving yes so this is the first thing before studying strategic management before studying strategic management i would like to reiterate the difference between strategy and tactics strategy and tactics so what is strategy and what is tactics this you should understand first then only we can move into strategic management and uh, with all respect i like to say something before uh, the session one second i would like to say something if you guys have any doubts in your mother tongue that uh, in somebody's mother tongue that is malayalam after the session you have an option to ask your doubts in malayalam i'll try to clear that doubts in malayalam i know a little bit of malayalam i know fair english and yeah that's it and some some small small tamil also this is it okay so that the doubts we can discuss in the later sessions i'm just informing because uh, some people try to communicate in malayalam so don't think that i am an englishman i'm not an englishman i know some some malayalam okay yeah so let's come to the topic again that is strategy and tactics what is the difference between strategy and tactics so the first point you know strategy strategy determines where you want to go we need to go somewhere so where you want to go that determines the that is a strategy so for that for that strategy tactics is the one which determine how you will get there i repeat tactic it's the one uh, people uh, simply uh, don't uh, like you know uh, kindly uh, avoid uh, like you know drawing on the screen if possible yeah so strategy determines where you want to go and tactics is what they, that determine how you will get there if i got an example i need to go to canada i want to go to canada so going to canada or to be at canada is my strategy okay uh, i think uh, screens one second give me one minute let me share my screen once again this will good this will be, will be good i think able to share my able to see my screen guys yes sir yeah perfect yes, perfect sir. okay perfect so strategy like you know going to canada i want to go to canada i want to migrate canada that is my strategy for example okay for example i want to go to canada that is my strategy so how i'll be going there that is a tactics you will be saying that okay fine uh by flight by ship by road or by whatever means by helicopter by by space shuttle i don't know by whatever means so tactic is how will get there so the mode of transportation will be aeroplane flight we need to have enough money saved we need to have a valid passport we need to have a valid send visa you send me the uh, email we need to have a valid passport no, we need to have a valid visa the previous one same it is uh, renewal kindly and uh, kindly mute uh, by the way one yes. second just give me on, just be on hold i need to fix this, this technical thing from hamad
Yeah, somebody <laughs> mentioned the comment box. Someone's name is virus detector. Virus detector. Wow, what is that? Virus detector. Okay, uh, like uh, Mr. Mithun from Edoing team, if you guys, if you kindly, like you know, uh, disable the screen, like uh, the drawing option, the screen for others, it will be good if you, if if possible. Okay, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Thank you very much, Mithun. Okay, so we'll come back to our strategy and tactics once again. So strategy determines where you want to go. Ultimate or ultimate option. Ultimately, where you want to go. That's a strategy. And tactics is for how you'll get there. How you are how you are going there? Mode of transport, like why 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 aeroplane? Mode of transport. That's a tactic. That's one tactic. Mode of transport is a tactic. We need to have a valid passport. We need to have a valid visa. So this is an example. If you want to go, if you want to plan a journey, the ultimate destination is your strategy. I need to go to Canada. I need to go to UK. I need to go to Rameswaram. I need to go to Abu Dhabi. I need to go to Ajman. I need to go to Sharjah. I need to go to Dubai. This is your strategy. How you are going to go? So for that, we need this so and so these things. That's sort of tactics, small things. Now the second point, you know, strategy is required to set the direction and destination of the organization. So since we are management students, since this is a management session. Strategy is required to set the direction and destination of an organization. An organization has, an organization has to have strategy. An organization has to have its own strategy. That is its ultimate vision. I'm using a word vision. Kindly note down that word. The sense. Kindly register on your brains or kindly note down if you have your pen and paper. So, vision. Strategy is what the vision of an organization. It is the ultimate aim of an organization. At the same time, tactics. Tactics are required to define the concrete actions you'll take to reach your destination, which means to realize the vision. I repeat, to realize the vision, to achieve the vision of a particular organization, we need to have small, small blocks. That is called the tactics. I need to build a home. I need to build my home. That is my ultimate strategy. Okay, uh, I need to have a home. That's my strategy or vision. For that, I need to. Procure raw materials. To procure raw materials, I need to go to some some places, so, and I need to have some money. So these are my tactics. How can I earn money to have a home? That's my tactics. Ultimately, I need a home. So strategy is more of a vision oriented. Strategy is more of a I'll tell you like you know it's a broader vision. But tactic is like strategy is like modulized. How you'll be getting over there? The steps. The steps which will take to the ultimate destination is the tactics. You know, in war, in war, war, or like fight between people. Nowadays we are seeing Ukraine and Russia; they are having war. The strategy is war. Strategy is actually war, but they are using some tactics on that. They are using atomic weapons. They they are uh, you know they are uh, taking hostages as civilian hostages. All these are their tactics. So ultimately, they have a goal. That's the strategy, and they are using some small, small steps to achieve this goal. That is the tactics. Okay, so that's the difference between strategy and tactics. Why I'm why I'm telling all uh, why I'm telling these things is because people nowadays use strategy and tactics interchangeably. They use strategy for tactics. They use tactics for strategy. End of the day, it's very simple. Strategy is long term. Tactics is short term. Simple as that. So I'll be moving to the next slide. So yeah, we just now reiterated this point: strategy versus tactics. What is the difference between strategy and ta tactics? Difference: strategy is a long term, tactics are short term. Strategies can be flexible. I repeat, this is a very tricky thing. Strategies can be flexible. Tactics is rigid. Tactics should be rigid; otherwise, it cannot be called as tactics. Why? I'll tell you. I call. I'll take the, like you know. I'll take the example of Canada. I need to migrate to any country. First, I'll fix so fix with Canada. I mean, then I'll fix. Okay, fine. Canada is not uh, that good. I'll be going to UK. So I'm fi I'm just changing my strategy. Migration to Canada. I'll change to migra migration to UK. I change to migration to Britain. But for all these things, we need a passport. If migration is your ultimate aim. No matter which the whichever destination you have, you are planning, we need passport, we need money, we need resources, we need to board a to board a flight ticket. So these tactics should be rigid, and strategies can be flexible. 
I won't, I'm not saying that strategies, strategies are always flexible. No, but strategies sometimes can be a little bit flexible, but tactics that should be rigid. Otherwise, it won't work out. Think of an organization's perspective. Strategy, that vision can be changed. Like first organization, maybe they'll be having a vision of 500 crores as a turnover, 500 crores. After three years, they'll be changing their vision to 1,000 crores. Then they'll change to 2,000 crores. But for achieving those things, the tactic should be very rigid. Okay, and because it's a short term, and strategy is the overall objective of a, part, of a particular mission, particular entity, or a particular you know action. Strategy is an overall objective, or tactics is like you know it related to resource allocation. Resource allocation, optimum usage of resource, because we need to reach a particular destination. That's the strategy. And for that particular particular destination reach, we need to allocate the resources in such a way that we are reaching that destination. So tactics is all about allocating of resources. You know, there we have a lot of things. Like, like in, uh, just, uh, just before I said like passport, I said like some charges coming, okay. One second, just let me message. Okay, Ganesh, no problem. Okay, Ganesh, thank you for joining, no problem. Yeah. So it's an overall objective strategy and the tactics is resource allocation. We need to allocate resource in such a way that uh, it facilitates the reaching of overall objective. So that's the difference between strategy and tactics. Okay. Then comes the next slide. Yeah. Just now we have discussed something called vision and mission. Wherever you go, Whichever organization you go, every organization has its own mission and vision. These two words are also being used interchangeably. They will say vision for mission. They will say mission for vision. So what is mission? What is vision? I'll go with vision first, the right hand side, vision. I'll go with vision first. What's, give me a moment. I'll just point it. Yeah, I'll go with vision first. I think you can see it, vision. Okay. So vision in the sense, yeah, vision, give me a moment. I'm so sorry, give me a moment. I'll just erase, yeah. Vision statement describes what your company is building toward the, in the future. Future, it's a futuristic thing. I told you, it's a future. So vision statement is what? The company is building towards the future. That is the ultimate aim of any company. Now, coming back to the company's point of view, this mission statement as well as vision statement can be seen in a company's website. So vision statement describes what your company is building towards the future. That is the ultimate aim of the company. That's what the vision statement is. For that, for that particular vision, we need to have a mission statement. A mission statement outlines all the things your company is doing in the, in the present to reach your goal. So vision is future. Mission is present, which means in the future, we need to achieve or we need to reach a particular level. For that, what all things we are doing currently is your mission. Why you guys are all, I'm just stopping the, uh, I'm just stopping the share. Why you guys are all gathered here for today's session? To reach, I'll tell you. Why you, why you guys are all gathered over here today's, in the today's session? Very simple. Two points, two, three points. One, mainly to, yes, Snoo said, to get knowledge. Yes, to get knowledge. Fine. You need to pass your examination. You need to get a lot of knowledge, right? For all to achieve a goal. Yes, Nisha, to achieve a goal. Exactly. So what you're doing presently, what you guys are doing presently is your mission. Attending the classes of doing education is one of your mission to accomplish your future. That is to gain knowledge, to have promotion, to get your qualification, to spread your knowledge, to get enriched. All these things are your visions for that you are joined today's session why you join with edwin why you join with edwin simple you need to get a qualification you need to have promotions you need to gain more knowledge you need to you need to get more social status right so 
for getting those things you are you reach a doing to facilitate these things you are currently listening to this class so this is your these things are your mission to get your vision done okay let me share it and share the screen once again i hope this is clear yes okay then now we are moving to the main topic for today that is strategic management or strategic management as you can see in the slide i'll give you once or 30 seconds to read the slide strategic management just read it i'll get back yes i'll read it one strategic management this is the definition okay this is a textual definition this definition you should study and by heart this textual definition you should study and by heart but you should understand in a different sense that i'll explain excuse me strategic management is concerned with strategic management is concerned with making decisions about an organization's future direction for growth it's a bold point for growth renewable and transformation and implementing those policies so strategic management is concerned with making decisions decisions very 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 important point so it is concerned with making decisions about an organization's future what all decisions are what is an organization in the future after after 5 years an organization should be in this level that level all these things are being decided by the decision making the decision that is done today right so strategic management is concerned with making decisions about an organization's future direction for growth renewal and transformation and implementing those policies first they will sit first they'll make a policy then they'll decide organization the management or the board or the directors or the ceo or the or the md whoever it may be they'll decide then they'll implement it i'll explain this particular slide in detail in the coming slide then you'll understand we'll then we'll again get back to the topic one thing so this is the definition of strategic management just by heart it that's it i'll explain it in the coming slide the second point main 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 point strategic management process can be broken into two phases two phases then only it can be called a strategic management two phases one is the strategic planning and the second one is the plan strategy implementation one is the strategic planning we should plan something everything we need to plan so in the in the in terms of strategic management when we are planning strategically it is called as strategic planning and the second second phase is strategy implementation i know you guys are now currently in a vague situation what is this sir what are you talking about i don't know what is growth i don't know what is renewable i'll explain in a very nice manner okay so let's move on to the next slide yes how strategic management or how strategy management is done the process of strategic management or the model the slides are very very limited so you might not be understanding so i request you all to listen to what i'm saying because otherwise you will be like you know uh, you won't it's like 50 50 i'll be explaining 50% and you need to you need to work on your 50% that's why i kept slide very minimal okay there are four steps involved in process in the process of strategic management model okay St there are four steps first step is a scanning the yellow color first step is the scanning second i'm sorry second step is a formulation strategic formulation and third step is the implementation and the fourth step is a performance tracking i repeat first step is a scanning second step is a strategic strategy formulation third step is the strategy implementation and the fourth step is the performance tracking or performance monitoring these four steps in is involved these four steps are involved in a strategy management model the process of strategic management model then i would like to say something related to the yellow i mean so the white words scanning yes where we are currently an organization where is the organization currently what is the place of the organization currently 
I'll reiterate this slide once again, then you'll understand in a very good manner. Where we are currently, where we stand currently, where we stand currently, that is a scanning part. Where are we? Comparing to others, comparing to the competitors, comparing to other people in the world, comparing to other organizations in the world, where are we currently now? That is the scanning part. By understanding this scanning, we will formulate, we will create the strategy, what to do, what, that what is what to do. Okay, fine. Where we are now currently. Okay, fine. What to do, what to do to reach at that level, the vision, what to do to reach at, reach at that level. I am currently at a place. I need to go somewhere else. I need to uplift. I need to gain knowledge. I need to get an MBA. I need to get a degree. I need to have a promotion. Okay, fine. Comparing to my colleagues, I'm, I don't have an MBA. Comparing to my colleagues, I don't have a BCom. Comparing to my colleagues, I don't have a BBA. So comparing to my colleagues, I'm having a small lack. Fine, I understood that. I need to get an MBA. I need to get a BBA. I need to get a BCA. I need to get a BCom. Fine, you fixed it. You came here, Eduving Education. You came to Eduving Education. Fine, okay, I need to be at Eduving Education. That is a strategy, okay? And you are implementing it. Currently, you are listening to my session. I need to gain more knowledge. I need to write my examination. I need to pass. And you're doing the implementation, right? And the performance. So performance like performance monitoring. I'll call it as examinations. How you are, go how good are you? You have your examination. You have your multiple choice questions. You have your examination. After every, after semester wise examinations, you'll be getting a certificate. That is the exam part. The other part, after all these things, after the plan is being implemented, the third point, how? After the plan is being implemented, you'll get a certificate. And comparing to your colleagues, you will be also in that level or above that level because you have something called experience. Experience plus qualification will give you cutting edge. Experience plus qualification will give you cutting edge. People have 16 years, 17 years, 18 years experience. Fine, I admit but they have a little drawback because they, they don't have a required qualification. Get the qualification. You have qualification plus 16 years of experience. You are unmatched in the industry. Okay, so that's what the performance, performance coming. So scanning is where you are currently, where the organization, coming to the perspective of organization, scanning is where the organization is currently. And what is the strategy I need to implement? How we, I can implement the strategy? And Constant monitoring. Where are we now? Where are we now? Where are we now? The constant monitoring is the performance part. It's called the performance monitoring or tracking. Without performance monitoring, strategy will not strategy model will not be successful. Okay. Then comes the next slide. Yes. 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 Okay. So scanning. I am explaining the point. I already explained this, but still I am explaining the point once again. Scanning. Strategic management model. First step is scanning. Where is my company's current position? Where are we? Out of 500 competitors, I am, I am 499th. I need to be on first. Out of 300 competitors, I am 15th. I need to be first. So first of all, we need, we need to understand where are we? Where my company is? Organization, where, where, where is the organization? That's the current position. Next, the industry analysis and the competitor analysis. We will be having competitors. We know about industry. Suppose if a person is working in the oil and gas industry, there are 100 companies. The, the particular company is in 15th position. We need to identify, okay, fine, the industry. Yes, fine. Very good. It's a very good industry. It's having very good future. As the same, at the same time, who are our competitors? We need to identify that also. Then we'll, then we'll identify, okay, fine, where are we now? Then we have something called SWOT. Okay, comment box is open. What is SWOT? I mean, what is what? Comment box is open or you can unmute and you can see. What? SWOT. No idea. No idea. Okay. I'll explain. But still, what is SWOT? Everybody knows. SWOT. SWOT. This is not only organization. Strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. Raiju. Very good. Understood? SWOT means, S means strength. Strength. W, weakness. O, 
opportunities and yes sorry c i will put c challenges or t threats so threats okay swok or swot both are correct people nowadays use swok okay so swot analysis we need to identify our own strength what all strengths i have some people have communication skills some people have lot of experience some people have lot of qualifications some people have contacts some people have references these are our strength yes what is our weakness to achieve this position i have this much of strength but there are some weaknesses also what are our weaknesses i have i don't have this i don't have that i don't have i have i have to have this i have to have, have that these are our weaknesses what are opportunities using my strength what all opportunities will i get that is what opportunities and by going to these opportunities i might find some threats also i might come across i might come across with some threats also if these threats we need to avoid okay so this is what swot is every individual should ensure that they are analyzing their swot fine so that's what analysis then comes the environmental analysis this is also in the perspective of the organization it is very related to industry how is the environment i'll i'll just explain petrol prices or the price of crude oil the price of crude oil or the price of petrol you know that's a very 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 alarming factor if crude oil price is increasing it will be having a impact on any market any 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 market whichever organization whichever company whatever market it may be it will be having its own impact that's what environmental analysis that is nothing to do with industry analysis industry is something different education industry that is different but environment is the environment is one that affects the industry overall affecting it might affect the industry that's what environmental analysis fine so this comes under the step for first step that is the scanning step so strategic management model first step is the scanning we need to identify the current position we need to have a competitor analysis we need to analyze uh, we need to have a swot analysis and we need to have environment analysis after this step we will understand where we are what we are after this step next i quickly go to the next slide okay this activity actually i was planned for today but uh, unfortunately the timing is a small issue so in the next session in the coming session we will be having just remind me everyone just remind me we will be having a swot analysis okay every individual every individual we will be having a swot analysis just remind me in the next session okay then we will understand where you are okay so that is i'll push this activity to the next session because there is a time crunch fine no well, that's fine sujan it's fine no problem no problem thank you for that update second step it's the formulation no problem no problem sujan second step is a formulation formulation is a strategy we are we have to formulate a strategy first we understand where we are fine we understood where we are fine okay this is what i am okay fine what i have to do what i have to do so these are some points which we need to understand in the step of formulation we need to have a vision to achieve this vision we need to have something called mission or missions we need to have our own values we in the sense i'm talking now i'm talking of a perspective of an organization we means organization not uh, persons we, person also have strategy but now we are dealing with organization so an organization should have a vision an organization should have mission to achieve that vision the organization must have values for example if i say that uh, okay for example i say edwing education edwing education has a value zero wrong commitment edwing education won't give any wrong commitment to any student so this is one of the value okay it's called value system so every organization must have a vision must have a must have vision must have mission and values goals very related to vision only see 
to educate 1000 students or educate 10000 students must be a goal okay to you know yeah these are these are goals because vision can be vision can be breaked into goals one goal one goal two goal three goal four goal five all these goals will be achieved to achieve the vision so goals to achieve the goals we need to have objectives to achieve a goal we need to have objectives i'll explain it in the in a very good sense by football i need to score a goal on football okay i need to score a goal i need to score a goal in a football in football football match first of all i need to kick the ball kicking objective number 1 passing objective number 2 i need to pass dribbling objective number 3 shoot at the goal post objective number 4 then only i can make one goal in order to win a match i need to i need to have four goals okay so again kicking passing dribbling shooting likewise i repeat 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 i'll get four goals these four goals are the mission okay i need to i need to win a cup i need to win uh, the world cup that is my ultimate vision for that ultimate vision for that world cup i need to win matches all the winning of all these matches is mission fine to win matches i need to have goals so i need to score goals for scoring goals i need to kick i need to dribble i need to pass i need to shoot clear so what about the third point values in between this match i won't use any hard methods i won't tackle people i won't get any red cards i will be playing fairly fine in organization's perspective think of it so an organization must have its own vision a mission its own set of values goals as well as objectives so objectives goals mission the ultimate vision okay then comes the next session next process third process third step in the process implementation we just now said about the example of world cup football implementation first step is the prioritization we will be having lot of objectives just before we have some objectives lot of objectives right objectives we will be having lot of objectives so which comes first which is first see now i have nearly 40 people over here including me 40 people over here you guys will be having your own job right you will be having job you might be getting calls you will be having other commitments but you have allotted your time to spend at eduving education with me your priority is this session fine this is what what prioritizing which comes first this is what prioritizing so currently your priority is this session it doesn't mean that you don't have any other things yes you have things you are working professional so first is the prioritization first we should prioritize what is when which comes first second is the optimization optimization means we have you know we have so many resources for example this class you have a computer you have a laptop you have mobile which can be used for viewing this class in a better way that is the optimization next come the it's it's called phased in order to implement the strategy we need to implement in a phased manner one by one by one i repeat one by one by one we need to implement in a phased manner we should not go all together if we do it all together then the strategy won't work out it should be phased manner phased phase by phase phase one phase two phase three phase four phase five fine final so it should be the strategy implementation the strategic management model implementation should be in a phased manner fourth point plan of action we need to have a plan of action or i otherwise call action plan we need to have a plan of action or an action plan fine same point objectives we need to set objectives same point implementation for implementation we need to set objectives if i quote an example of this class itself you need to attend this class first of all you need to find time prioritize fine then you need to have a very good internet connection you need to have a speaker or a headset or something 
headset headphone or something you need to have uh, a pen and paper ready with you all these are your objectives then only this class or this session will be effective for you so this is the objectives next after this the implementation for the strategy is done but the most important process is this evaluation where are we currently stand, standing after implementing this strategy we need to have a periodic evaluation we need to have a periodic evaluation it's called monitoring is this fine is this fine is that fine am i good is this good are you guys listening are you guys listening are you there this is what monitoring okay this is what monitoring so we should evaluate and monitor after evaluating we need after monitoring we will get feedback guys are you there can you see my screen can you see my screen yes yeah, yeah. yes this is for the feedback and if i get a feedback okay sir i am not able to see see the screen yes ah yes yes no if i am not able to see uh, sir i am not able to see my screen okay fine fine then i'll i'll do one thing i'll just go back and i'll come again that should be the response so periodically we need to monitor we need to collect the feedback we need to respond acknowledge respond acknowledge sorry respond accordingly and also we need to acknowledge we must acknowledge this evaluation we must acknowledge the feedback okay and this process is not once this process should be continual otherwise strategy will stuck over there this process should be continual so this comes the evaluation session okay next this is a very oh, before that i'll just i need to ask some questions because uh, i know that like you know it's a strategy management is not that easy so i need to ask some questions up to this level you guys have any doubts shoot me i mean doubts you can shoot me don't shoot for, with your gun shoot with your doubts shoot any doubts any any doubts again a very silent class last session also i told everybody should be interactive i think last session we de we dealt we dealt about leadership right people who are in the last session is it was yes, that leadership sir. yes okay leadership okay no doubt all good fine all good so far thank you for that okay fine guys if you have any doubts in malayalam in your regional language also i can explain with everybody's permission any doubt in malayalam you can explain i mean you can ask fine no doubts no doubts okay very good if you have no doubts there are, there are two two possibilities if you have no doubts possibility number 1 you understand everything possibility number 2 you haven't understand anything which is it i was just kidding okay so when people say no doubts i'll uh, i'll ask this question either you understand everything or you understand nothing <laughs> thank you okay fine fine i i won't rag you people okay you guys are working professionals fine okay this is a very beautiful concept this is this is the most beautiful concept in strategic management the 7s framework the 7s framework there are 7s okay first one is a shared values second one is a strategy third one structure fourth one systems fifth one skills sixth one style and seventh one is the staff when these 7s comes in comes together when these seven s comes together in a nutshell or comes together in a structure i call it as a strategic fit kindly write this word strategic fit i'll type it for you strategic one second strategic fit strategic fit the strategic fit is a concept you know this seven seven things shared values i told about values there must be values there should be a strategy there should be a structure to implement the strategy there are systems to implement the strategy and there should be skilled person and skills to implement the strategy there should be a style the it's called organization culture it's an organization organization style there should be a style and there should be staff also so when these seven things comes together inside a framework that is called a strategic fit 
if something is lacking in this 7s if skills is not there strategy won't, won't work out if good staff is not there strategy won't work out if the, there is no style every is everybody is doing whatever they want strategy won't work out if there is no structure strategy won't work out if there is no strategy obviously it is not it won't work out if there are no values some people are having some values the other people is having other values no if there is not enough skills for staff strategy won't work out so in order to have a very good strategic management or strategic fit we need to have a 7s framework so these are the seven yeses okay now that comes with the end of the slide but i need to reiterate one so, so, some points that the first one is the strategic management i told you i'll reiterate reiterate strategic management now we understand what is strategic management i repeat strategic management is concerned with making decisions about an organization's future direction of growth renewal transformation and implementing the implementing and implementing those policies so it is a decision making process for a organization's future direction for its growth renewal transformation growth means 500 crores to 700 crores renewal okay fine now the organization is not is not profitable i need to renew i need to give, i need to have a good strategy good this thing i i, I, I like to quote an example on this jio you know jio reliance reliance jio yeah. before what happened you know it's a small story there was a company that is called rim yes fine yes sure 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 rama sure rama share value sure it's nothing but values dear it's called value system i'll i'll just type it values we explain values right when it is come when it is come sorry when is when is came from all those who are in the system it is called as a shared value system i typed it uh one second who asked the doubt maybe akbar uh, amar sorry amar amar is this fine yes sir it's fine sir okay thank you thank you very much okay so where we stop yeah this reliance in it's an indian company reliance they had you know they given a phone for 1 rupee years back decades back they given a phone a mobile phone for 1 rupees just 1 rupee they given a they given out a mobile phone everybody those who people who doesn't want any mobile phone they won't make any calls still they bought this mobile phone since it is 1 rupee fine if i if you know i'll tell you uh, that's a different example i'll come to that okay so 1 rupee that was a strategy after that what happened you know after that i still remember that phone it is lg rd2670 i believe i still remember that phone lg rd2670 i think so yes so after that what happened you know they given this phone for 1 rupee and people are looking like this you know what is this because they don't know how to call then they said that to make a call to make a call you need to recharge for 241 rupees i don't ex uh, remember the exact figure i think it's 241 i think it's 241 or 249 i don't remember exactly either it's 1 or 9 anyways so we got the phone right we got the phone but we don't know how to make a call they said okay fine you need to recharge for you need to give money 249 rupees then they converted it to postpaid after that what happened people started calling 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 and calling i call uh, i call from my phone to the other room and okay hello 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 because people were very curious after the, after some time after one month we got a bill 600 rupees 700 rupees bill so this was this was a strategy of reliance long back okay so actually their vision was to ensure that mobile density should increase the same thing happened again we currently we have you know that is that's again a different story in in india we have a population in india i'll take the example of india only because we are dealing with indian universities obviously we need to take examples of india okay so currently 
India, in India, there are 142 crores of people, nearly around about 140, 142 crores of people. Out of this, only 40% or something use the phones, use the mobile phones, mobile phones. 40%, 40 or maximum 50% only use the mobile phones. Fine, fair enough. What happened next? Currently, we have 70 to 80 crores of active connections in India, mobile phones. How that happened? Simple answer, three letters, Geo. J-I-O, Geo. They created a demand. Already, we are saturated. India is saturated with the phone already. They then created a demand. Now we have two identities, Swaminath and Swaminath Geo. Arundraj and Arundraj Geo. Shibli and Shibli Geo. Adra and Adra Geo. Amar and Amar Geo. Liji and Liji Geo. Silna and Silna Geo. How? They given away the network and you know what? The internet free of cost. They given away. And I can, I still remember when I was in India, I still remember people were like in a queue in front of Reliance stores. 100, 200, 300 people. Before that, Indians, they were using 1 GB internet for one month. After this, we need at least minimum 2 GB for two hours. That was the difference. Those are the created the market. That was, was their strategy was, you know, already they are packed. Airtel, Vodafone, then what do you call it? Uninor. Then, 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 then idea. All these people have made the market, market, you know, saturated. So they think, what shall I do? Their vision was to have a good place in the market. Geo. They built a strategy. Fine. I need to find the solution for this. They created a strategy. What now? What is it? India. 142 people are there. 140 crore people are there. Out of this, 40 to 50 percent is only having mobile phones. Mobile access to mobile phones, which means nearly like. Maybe 140, 40, 28, like somewhat nearly 45 crores, but we have nearly 70 crores of active connections in India. That's what the strategy of reliance. Okay. So uh, I like to reiterate once again the point, the strategy point. So strategic management is concerned with making decisions about an organization's future direction of growth, renewal, transformation, and implement and implementing and also implementing those policies. And this strategy management process can be broken into two phases. That is the strategic planning as well as the strategy implementation. First, we have to plan, then only we can implement it. Again, I'll repeat this point. Four points, scanning where we are currently. Formulation of the strategy, what we have to do. Implementation, how we will be doing that. Implementation, and we need to have a regular, 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 regular feedback and regular monitoring of this strategy. Fine. Then we had scanning, current position, analysis, competitor, as well as industry, SWOT, environmental analysis. This I'll be skipping to the next session. Then we have a form, we have to formulate the strategy. An organization must have a vision, mission, its own shared values or values, value system, goals, and objectives. For implementation, we need to prioritize first. Optimization, it should be a phased approach. It should have a plan of action as well as objectives. Fine. Then comes evaluation. Very important. Periodic monitoring, regular feedback collection, response to the feedback, acknowledgement of these feedbacks, and the process should be continual, 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 and continual. The 7S framework, shared values, strategy, structure, system, skills, style, and staff. When these seven S comes in a framework, I'll call it as a strategic fit, strategic fit. So this was today's session.